when you need to migrate SQL Server 2008 to, to SQL Server 2012? Well, this is a very common question, uh, and uh, most likely if you're going for DBA interview, this will be asked. So um, I have written down some points up here. There are two types of uh, uh, upgrades. One is called uh, in-place upgrade, and other is parallel upgrade. In-place upgrade is usually the upgrade on the same server. You upgrade your existing instance to any upper version. So that's, that's called in-place upgrade. And parallel upgrade is that you set up another server uh, with the same configuration, but uh, most likely that uh, everything will be supportive uh, that you install on um, uh, it could be different operating system but uh, uh, that operating system need to support the SQL Server version the newer version that you need to install um, as far as a uh, um, database concern so I, it doesn't matter whether uh, it's a in place upgrade or parallel upgrade there are few common things that you need to keep in mind always in place upgrade you need to make sure that you have every things back up because just in case if you need to roll back you will be able to do that and for that you should uh, up, uh, back up all your user databases all your system databases just in case if you need to rebuild the system uh, because in place upgrade will affect your system uh, databases so make sure that uh, you have uh, uh, you know database backup of including system backups and uh, uh, and, and same in uh, parallel upgrade you should have backup everything but um, uh, there are some outstanding things as far as uh, parallel upgrade goes I have written down here um, in preparation of backing up operation in parallel upgrade you should back up all the databases user databases because uh, in parallel upgrade usually we do not take the system database backup to the uh, it's it's not gonna work so what we do is we install SQL Server 2012 on a different server and we take the backup um, all the databases and we go ahead and restore those databases onto our newer SQL Server 2012 version. The second thing that you need to do is script all the uh, SQL Server replication. You can uh, script um, replication. I'll show you real quick uh, that how to do that and also I will go through um, one instance and see that what can be backed up as a backing up strategy so the third thing that you need to do is script all the logins and the users including database users um, this is a this is very mandatory task there is a, a script from Microsoft out there that uh, will script out everything for you and uh, uh, what you need to do is um, if you don't uh, if you don't have the script if you don't have the link please go to our blog uh, it's a SQL age uh, blogspot.com and if you go over there uh, then I have put up there that those that, that login scripts and you can run that and output of those logins needs to run on destination server and the other thing that you need to do again this is very important the logins and users uh, and the other thing that you need to do is script all the linked servers uh, because sometimes what happen is that if you lose your um, uh, previous version uh, server uh, you th it's it's hard for you to really retrieve the linked server so I would recommend that you uh, script out all the linked servers because if you need to create those linked servers on your newer SQL server all you need to do is just run the script uh, or the create script and the next uh, next thing this is very important too that uh, most of us has as a DBA set up the uh, database mail profiles and those profiles are r really important uh, because uh, some some profiles are used for just DBA only for maintenance jobs and some deep uh, uh, database mails profiles are used for users to see whether the reports are ready this is this has run successfully or not that job has run successfully or whatever the case may be so and other thing that's important about database ma mail profile that if you have a, a job that is using one of the profile and it can't find that profile um, in in the profile list on your new server it's going to fail the script is going to fail so you make sure that you script the database mail profile we'll go through again the instance real quick to see that uh, what other things can be backed up and in restore operation you need to restore database uh, uh, backup uh, database databases from the backup first 
and then you need to uh, do the I would say uh, logins and users and then you need to do the um, script uh, uh, the, the mail profiles and then after that you should uh, set up your replication when you run the script uh, of a replication make sure there is a communication between your new uh, SQL Server 2012 instance uh, server and uh, your um, wherever your your uh, other uh, where are wherever you're uh, replicating the data to wherever your subscriber is if you are a publisher anyhow so these are uh, um, uh, you know uh, the the main steps that um, uh, you you may not want to go too much in detail in an interview but uh, these are the things that you need to keep in mind so let me sh quickly show you uh, let's go through an instance uh, where um, I'll show you real quick here's my SQL Server instance let's say it's a 2008 instance so first of all what I would do I would uh, uh, you know back up all my um, databases you can set up a maintenance job in SQL Server um, or maintenance plan that will uh, actually back up all your uh, uh, user databases I would recommend the system databases as well but uh, it's not mandatory in parallel upgrade so uh, the second thing that you up here you will do is all the logins all the logins um, and um, other thing that you need you go in the server uh, server objects and link server you need to um, you know script that uh, as a create script and if you have a, a, a trigger you know you need to also do that replication you need to script that out too um, in management there's a data database mail you need to script that out um, and if you don't know really how to script the uh, database mail that's out there too on our blog so please visit um, and uh, you'll get the script and you can run that script and it'll uh, script out all the database mails for you and uh, SQL Server agent jobs um, I have uh, also a video that how to script up all script all the jobs uh, you know and you can do that and also uh, uh, operators you may need to uh, script uh, operators as well and if you have set up any proxy that should be scripted as well so these are the uh, few things that's important things I, I, I think that uh, if uh, I will be D the DBA I will go through all that just to make sure that uh, our migration is successful I hope it helps